have I got a treat for you today? So this is the cording. This is the cord that I use. And I'm just going to run you through the process of the different cord thicknesses. So there's 3mm and 2mm here. Generally 3mm for big and 2mm for small canvases. These are D-rings and these are the screws. Thank you so much for being here today. I just want to send everybody watching a really warm hello and welcome. And if you've got any questions, do let me know. So these are average size D-rings and I find these gloves have amazing dexterity. So I always use them as part of the process. So here is the back of one of the paintings that I'm going to attach the D-rings and put the cord through today. See the mark there? That is approximately a third of the way up the side of the canvas that I would like to put the cord on. So I just literally put the canvas in a position that's easy for me to adjust it take my tape measure and put that from one side of the canvas to the other just literally right at the edges and I measure off a third of the way down with a pencil or pen you see that I'll show you on the other side so it literally is you use the end of the tape measure to line up with the side and edge of the canvas and then you measure off a third so I tend to put the screw on the end of my screwdriver to hold it for me. Then I get the D-ring and I place it just on the edge of the canvas. Can you see there? So the whole of the circle plus a little bit more, perhaps two mils, is in. And then I press really, really gently with the screwdriver just and apply some pressure and then get faster until it's secure. There we are, really secure. And now for the other side, so I turn it round so it's in the easiest position for me to manoeuvre. Pop the screw in the screwdriver, get the D-ring, line it up so you can see the dot of the pencil mark in there, and then you move it to a position that's secure on the side, gently at first, and then a bit faster, all secure. So now we've got the two D-rings in place and we need the cord. This is a two mil cord because it's an eight by eight canvas. So you double up the cord for the length of the distance between the two D-rings plus a little bit more, two or three inches, whatever suits you. I tend to do a good three inches but some people do too. Snap that off and then now I'm going to just show you the string so you can see it in proportion to the size of the side of the canvas. Make sure the D-rings are nice and open and I fold it in half making sure that both sides of the string are an equal length and I feed it through Then I loop it in and it attaches there on the D-ring. Make sure it's nice and secure. Don't pull too hard. No need to pull too hard, but just enough to feel that tension. Again, feel the tension there and it naturally has that bit of give. So you're going underneath. I'll show you again. So you're going underneath and crossing over. Then you're crossing over the front and tying and you pull tight. One more, so I do three. Fold underneath, fold over the top, tie and pull down secure. So you've got three, so it's, it's really solid, it's not going anywhere. Now I use electric tape. This is a really, really good tape to keep the cord together securely. There we are, just taking off a bit of the tape, enough to wind round a few times. Level up the sides of the re remaining cord. 
so I can see just about how much I can keep with the tape and I wrap it around gently making sure that I'm tightening the cord together and then it goes on really nice and easily and as you can see it goes around a few times you may want to personally use a little bit more or a little bit left less so now I get the scissors and take off the rest of the cord and it leaves a lovely neat edge and there we go just enough tension in it to be able to hook it up so these are d-rings this is the size of d-rings they're all sorts of sizes these i tend to use for big and small canvases two d-rings and two screws so thank you so much for being here today happy painting and I'd really re appreciate it if you would support my channel by subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.